With the recent release of Bonding Season 2, a number of my patrons gently pushed me to watch the series. There were a lot of really great talking points in both Season 1 and Season 2, and I would actually highly recommend you watch the series. But today I wanted to magnify a particular aspect of the series, Doug and Tiff's relationship. So stay tuned because in this video I'm using the dynamic between Bonding's Tiffany and Doug to illustrate exactly how you can win the heart of your desired alpha female. <laughs> the consensual power exchange dynamic of dominance and submission is the root foundation of everything we do in BDSM, we need to first establish what is Doug and Tiff's dynamic. And I have identified Doug as a soft dom switch and Tiff as a dominant switch. And we're going to get into exactly how Doug, the soft dom switch, won the heart of Tiffany, but I first want to give you a few key points that really will summarize everything we will discuss today. So the three main points I want you to take away from this entire video is number one, seduction is not just sexual. Two, pursuit should be respectful. And three, humor is disarming. So when you are trying to woo and win the heart of your beloved alpha female, follow Doug's example. And the first step that he showed us here in episode one is to create a connection. And we see this play out as Doug and Tiff go to class together. Doug begins to establish a rapport with Tiffany through mindfully flirtatious actions. And I say mindfully flirtatious because mindful flirtation and just flirtation are two very different things. But we see that Doug's flirtation was very, very mindful. We also see three specific traits in Doug's initial flirting and building that rapport. Number one, he was playful. His flirtations were playful. His flirtations were also humorous. But most importantly, his flirtations were respectful. And we saw this play out in this interaction between Doug and Tiff where she's just like, hey, I'm a lesbian, whatever. He actually volleyed back at her comment in a playful, flirtatious way, but him volleying back sent her a very clear message. And that message was, I'm not a doormat, I'm not a pushover, and I'm also not easily swayed by you, girl. So it instilled this sense of, oh, he's paying attention and he's not backing down. but in a respectful way that didn't make her feel pushed or pressured. But at one point she does get serious and she goes, hey, I just wanna pay attention to class. I just wanna focus on the class. And he pivots instantly. And it was so great how he did that because when he did, when he kind of stopped the flirtation and shared his notes with Tiff, he was respectful of what she wanted to accomplish there in the moment. He communicated to her very clearly, okay, I was pushing back, I was playful, I was flirtatious, but you, you just stated a boundary, you said, I do wanna focus, and he respected that. That was excellent work on Doug's part in building that initial rapport. Doug also showed persistent pursuit, and persistent pursuit shows interest, commitment, patience, etc. And we saw this play out beautifully in episode two. Doug begins to reveal his interest, his intentions by, hey, do you want to hang out? Do you want to get together? Okay. And she shuts it down. She has to go do something else, but he doesn't stop there. He doesn't just try to pursue once and then, oh, he gets discouraged, whatever. And then he stops. No, you will continue to see Doug's pursuit is very persistent, but it's respectful respectfully persistent and that is what Tiffany responds so well to and that's what your alpha female will also respond so well to. Your alpha female wants to feel honored, wants to feel respected at all times. So even in your pursuit, you have to make sure that it is respectful, that you bring a sense of honor and integrity to your pursuit, that you're not entitled about it. You don't bring all these expectations to the table, but you make it very clear. I'm not going anywhere. I will continue to pursue you. And to that point, I wanna say this. Pursuit looks different based off of your personality type, based off of if you're a dom type, 
subtype, your own personality, all of that, your pursuit will look different. Your pursuit doesn't have to be aggressive, overt, primal, whatever. Your pursuit can be very soft, sensual, erotic. It can be very, not passive, but almost covert and slow. So you pursue in the way that feels comfortable for you and your personality in the way that you feel confident, okay? But be persistent in your pursuit because persistent pursuit will get your alpha female. Doug was also attentive to Tiff's needs. And I thought this played out beautifully in episode three where Tiff is reluctant to give her psychology presentation. She doesn't really wanna get that vulnerable right then and there in front of the class. And she's trying to get out of it. She's trying to get out of it somewhat awkwardly. And Doug instantly swoops in. Doug reads the situation, reads how awkward and comfortable Tiffany is, and instantly deflects the attention off of Tiff. He volunteers to go instead, and he takes that emotional pressure off of Tiffany. And you could see the relief on her face. That was beautiful. That was a beautiful way of being attentive to his perspective alpha female's needs. And what I really love about this is Doug's actions served as nonverbal communication to Tiff that your emotions are safe. I am present and mindful enough to see your emotions, respond to them, and protect them. And I love how Doug did that. It wasn't a taking control and she's weak and she can't handle it. No, it was I'm mindful and right now I'm seeing that something is going on and I just wanna take that off of you so you can process whatever emotions you're going through the way you need to. That is a beautiful way to be attentive to your alpha female's needs. And in the same episode, episode three, we see Doug take this attentiveness to Tiff's needs a step further where he actually initiates intimacy. And this is a big key in seducing your alpha female. Your alpha female might be guarded because she was never taught how to express her emotions. She might be guarded because of past her trauma abuse. She may seem guarded, but really she just doesn't know you and doesn't trust you. So you're not getting through, you know? So we don't know why your alpha female doesn't just wear her heart on her sleeve like most female subtypes, but the fact is she doesn't. The fact is you're gonna have to do a little bit of work, a little bit of digging, put forth some effort, some pursuit, okay? And part of this is initiating the intimacy. Chances are your alpha female is not going to initiate intimacy with you. She's just not. So you, gentlemen, it's your responsibility, just like Doug did here beautifully in episode three, to initiate intimacy. And Doug did this by not only volunteering, to do his presentation to kind of take the emotional pressure off of Tiff, but it was all about what he communicated in that presentation. He could have gotten up in front of the class and said all these things, all these really intellectual, cerebral, kind of logical answers and explanations why he wants to go into this field. He didn't. He actually shared some very, very deep and painful and vulnerable experiences. And you could see Tiff just absorb it and take it in. And even after class, she was kind of looking for him because what happened? We're seeing that he's initiating intimacy. And maybe if your alpha female sees that you're initiating intimacy, that you're being vulnerable with her, she'll volley back and be vulnerable with you. And that's exactly what started happening with Tiff. And in episode four, we really see Doug's soft dom start coming to the surface here when he playfully pushes back against Tiff. Now, at this point in their relationship, Doug is just trying to get that first date, get that hook in. He's just trying to establish continual connection and communication here. And she just keeps shutting it down and being dismissive about it, like a lot of alpha females that you will meet, okay? But what happens? He pushes back. And I think this is what separates you, you subtypes or you beta males, for lack of a better term, who get stuck in the friend zone versus the subtypes and beta males who actually get the woman that they want, get their alpha female, is Doug pushed back. He showed her, I'm gonna be respectful, I'm gonna honor you, all these things, but 
I'm here to win you. I'm here because I want you, I like you, I have interest in you genuinely, and I'm not going anywhere. And I think a lot of guys who victimize themselves over getting stuck in the friend zone, it's they don't do this well, they don't push back enough. They just like take it and like, oh, I'll just be the shoulder to cry on. And they don't actually go, hey, no, I want you. And I'm gonna pursue you and I'm gonna make it known that I want you. And if you're gonna try to shut me down and be dismissive for no reason whatsoever, Okay, that's not gonna sway me. Bring it. And that's what Doug did so beautifully. Again, without entitlement, without demands, without pressure, without control, without manipulation. Essentially, Doug wasn't intimidated by Tiff's coldness, her distance, the fact that she had a wall up. Doug wasn't intimidated by the fact that he had to do some digging, that she didn't just open up and melt. And he actually pushed back playfully against her defenses and said, I'm not going anywhere. Because that playful pushback allowed him to stick around to show his authentic interest. And this is the last key for you gentlemen when you are trying to pursue, woo, seduce your alpha female, show authentic interest in her. Not just what she can do for you sexually, not just how dominant she may or may not be in bed. None, none of those things. And that's what we saw with Doug. He showed authentic interest in Tiff as a person, as a human being. He even went as far as to say, hey, you terrify me, but I like you, right? Not you terrify me and you're a cold hard bitch, get the fuck away from me because you won't let me fuck you. No. It was, you terrify me, you're a little cold, whew, but I, I like you. And there's something there. And I wanna dig into that. And I wanna pursue you. And I wanna get to know you. And she just, again, was dismissive, was trying to push away. And he was like, hey, hey, hey I have a feeling you wanna be my friend. So let's just be friends. He was willing to do whatever it took to maintain that connection. Even if at that moment, she wasn't totally into him, right? She didn't have a super interest in like being romantic with him, right? But he was like, hey, I am not going to give up the connection. If right now, friendship is our connection, great, because at least I can connect with her. At least I can build a rapport with her. At least those lines of communication will still be open. So again, he shows this authentic interest in a non-threatening way. We're still respectful, we're not pushy, we're not entitled, but I am here and I am present and I have no intention of going anywhere. Mm. So boys, let's recap your six seduction steps. All right, number one is to create a connection. Start building a rapport, a playful, respectful rapport with your desired alpha female. Step number two, persistent pursuit, okay? Your alpha female will probably not just be soft and open and tell you how she feels and wear her heart on the sleeve. So you're gonna have to pursue and pursue and pursue and pursue. You will have to be persistent in your pursuit. Step three, be attentive to her needs. Alpha females still do have needs. We just show them differently. We express them differently. So we need a very intelligent, present, emotionally mindful man to be aware of these things and to respond appropriately. Also initiate intimacy. By initiating intimacy, she will feel disarmed. She will almost want to follow suit. He was vulnerable and intimate. Maybe it's safe for me to be vulnerable and intimate too. Playful pushback. If your alpha female tries to get dismissive with you, push back at you in conversation, whatever, volley right back. She's looking for, can you keep up with me? Or will you just cower under my power? Will you cower under my authority? Will you cower under my energy? So volley back with her, okay? Playful pushback. And finally, show authentic interest. Show authentic interest in her as a human being, not what she can offer you and not what she can give to you in bed. Because here's the thing, gentlemen, we as alpha females know and understand very well that seduction is not just sexual. It starts in the mind, seduce the mind, seduce the heart, then maybe you can get to the body. 
We alpha females are also looking for respect in our pursuit. Yes, we want to feel wanted. Yes, we want to feel pursued, but respectfully. Don't be demanding, don't be pushy, don't be entitled. Respectful pursuit. And finally, we alpha females do enjoy to laugh. We like to laugh. We find laughter disarming because often we have to be aggressive and overtly strong and powerful and take on the world, right? That humor can be very disarming. That humor can give us a place to let our guard down a little bit. And you will see in the next video just how disarming Doug's humor was because we're gonna talk about what happens after you woo your alpha female. What happens when she does say yes to a date? What do you do on your first date? How do you not fuck it up? We'll discuss that and more in the next video.